Hi guys, in the previous video we found the size of angle MRQ in part 1 and angle PMR in part 2, okay? So in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to part 3, uh, PMN, alright? How we go about that. Now if you notice my friends, I am considering the triangle PN. M, okay, if you notice carefully, that's a triangle I am considering. Now, what I did here, I just imagine that I just cut out this triangle, okay? And if you notice, I have it up here, P and M. So it would be sitting on the base, M, N. And if you notice, M, N is at the base, okay? And the angle at the apex at P would be 54 degrees. The angle there is 54 degrees, okay? So hopefully you're making that connection with me, all right? Now, there is a... Theorem, right? The tangent theorem. It states that, and let me just pull it up here for you, my friends. This is the tangent theorem, okay? The tangent theorem states that uh, two tangents touching the same circle from a single point are equal, okay? So if you notice what I have here, PM, the tangent PM, P to M is equal to the tangent P to N, okay? So those two tangents would be equal. So simply what I'm saying, my friends, and hopefully you're making that reference with me. Let me just pull this out a bit. Uh, let me just grab some colors here. So simply what I'm saying, guys, is that since PN and PM, if since they are equal, then what I would have here is an isosceles triangle, okay? So these two sides are equal. Hence, and let me just change the color quickly. As uh, hence these two angles, my base angles. Oops, that's a bad color. Let me just grab another one, a black. Good. So these two base angles, my friends, would be equal. So for example, if the size of this angle is x, then the size of that angle would be x also. Okay, so let's work that out. All right. So what we're going to find in order, because what they're asking us to find, and maybe I should have stated earlier, they're asking us to find the angle PMN. And if you should notice, guys, if you should notice clearly that the angle PMN is really P M to N is all of this angle here all of this angle here that I'm shading in black, okay? So that's what we're trying to find. So which is one of these base angles, PMN, okay? This angle here. Now, if you notice, my friends, um, since we have identified that we have an isosceles triangle, then what we're going to do first is to work out the sum of the base angles. So in working out the sum of our base angles, we could say the sum of the base angles would be equal to, and we're simply saying 180, degrees, okay, which is the sum of the interior angles in, in any triangle, and we are going to subtract 54 from that, okay? Okay, good. So when we subtract uh, 180 subtract 54, that should leave us with a 126 degrees, okay, my friends? Oops, sorry about that. 126 degrees. Now, uh, since we have that, remember, that's a geometric concept, so we have to uh, state or geometric reason. Okay, so here we have it guys um, Angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. Okay, so that's our answer However, if you notice this is the sum of the base angles. So what we're saying since this angle is equal to that angle the two base angles are equal to find to find the size of angle PMN we would have to now state that so my friends uh, therefore we can simply say now that the angle P M P M N oops my bad that's ugly P M M this is giving me a little bit of trouble guys please just bear with me P M N is equal to the sum of the base angles because remember this is the total this plus this okay so we're just simply since they are equal the two base angles are equal we're just simply going to be dividing dividing this by two okay and 2 into 12 goes 6 times, okay? 2 into this 12 goes 6, and 2 into 6 goes 3 times. So our answer is 63 degrees. And remember, that's another geometric concept, so let's just give you the reason, okay? Here we have to state that base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So that's how we would get the value of the angle PMN. Hope that you found this lesson or exercise useful and I wish you all the best in your exams. Okay, bye-bye.